says is very similar to Stop This Train, because they share this thing called the flick, slap flick technique, where you're doing this. So the thumb is actually slapping a bass note, and then right underneath it, uh, the first finger, because these are usually only two finger songs, is flicking a particular note in a percussive manner. It's kind of like uh, this kind of technique but it's stopped by the face of the guitar. So let's uh, cycle through that first measure of who says really slow. So it's not just the percussive slap, it's also a usually sounding the string directly under the bass note. In this case we're slapping on the open D, the fourth string. And then we're flicking the third string uh, fretted on the second fret, the A. Uh, so that pretty much is a common theme throughout the song. If we split this up and just isolate the bass line, it's doing this through the whole song. We'll just rip through it really quick. Yeah, pretty much. So it's uh, when you hear it isolated, it's kind of weird, but really all you're doing is pluck, slap, pluck, slap. Plucking on beats one and three, and then slapping on beats two and four throughout the entire song, with the exception of some of the licks. So while the bass line is doing that, your first finger is doing this kind of melody with that open D sus chord, which is just a D with the uh, sixth string lifted off. It's going... And uh, what's important is the uh, direction, uh, upstroke, downstroke that your index finger is doing. For that melody there, we're actually starting with an upstroke, then a downstroke, then an upstroke, then another upstroke, and then a downstroke. And every downstroke ends up being a flick. If you're concerned with uh, these upstrokes, downstrokes not being alternate, alternating all the time, up, down, up, down, up, down, they actually are, because in this case your thumb is doing some of the, the downstrokes for you. Like that one sequence where we have this. Two upstrokes in a row, like up, down, up, up, down. The thumb is actually doing an alternate uh, downstroke right before that. Like that. So, without the slapping, it sounds like this all together. So you'll hear these double pumps. But, for the most part, the first or second note is going to be a flick, so it's not as pronounced. And that, in a nutshell, is the slap flick technique. I do a more in-depth kind of tutorial on the Stop This Train video, which I'll throw a link down here too. You can kind of follow that, but uh, that's the meat of it. Who Says features a lot of verses played back to back. Verse 1 and 2 are played one after another, 3 and 4, and then the last verse, 5, at the end. So this is your more or less generic verse. I'll go over the variations in them at the end. starts with this, which we went into in depth in the flick lesson before this. So let's move on to the next part. This is pretty much a G, two-noter, so we're fretting the uh, third fret second string and then the third fret sixth string, and then we're coming down with a slap flick, kind of sounding the two open strings in the middle strings, four and three, so then we're going into a D sus shape with an F-sharp on the root on the 6th string. So from the top... And then the second flick there on that kind of F-sharp, uh, we're targeting the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, that A. So... After that we go into this, uh, I guess it's an E minor 7th. 
Mm -hmm. But we're only doing it with two two fingers. We're not playing this uh, the fifth string at all. Same kind of pattern, but different notes. Then an A. This chord, A sharp something, I don't know what this is. <laughs> but it's a very nice transition. It's almost like, uh, you know, the trains come coming to cut the girl in half kind of chord. It's kind of like... Oh, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, from the top... to a B minor seventh. But it's kind of like there's a there's a hammer on here. And the way I do it, you can actually fret the first the, the root portion of the uh, minor B minor seventh chord. And then just hammer on that last bit. I tend to do the whole thing, hammer on the whole thing. So from the top again. Seventh is then we do an E seven and then G A D sus. So I'll go through the whole thing super slow. or four, I'll have to check the tab. Um, he, instead of going, he does like a full D kind of hammer-on thing. It sounds like this. So instead of, he's uh, throwing some extra notes on the top. So I'll show you how that one goes. So we're just changing that chord. Instead of the D sus, we're doing a D hammering on the uh, first string. And then when we do our G, we kind of throw the uh, the pinky down on the third fret of the sixth string to get our G. And then when we go down to the D, yeah, it gets, gets back to normal then, so. And then uh, everything after that is pretty much normal. So that's more or less the generic first part. Uh, one thing that you might notice is that as he's doing some of these, he'll he plays them at slightly different each time. One thing he does is he starts off the song really not going too hot. He's not hitting that high E open string or some of the higher notes a lot of times. Like uh, so, the highest I went there was the second string. Later on in the song, he'll go to the first string. He's, he's hitting the high high notes. So that's a small subtle thing you'll see throughout the song. kind of starts off with a G to that uh, D sus with the F sharp root into an A. Then the second time around, it's like a D sus with a G root, D sus with F sharp root, back to the A. Then that same thing, that funny looking A sharp chord, that B minor 7th, and then that E7. And this kind of thing. That 
that's kind of like an A. And then you, uh, you, you get on the third fret of the second string. And uh, ring with the uh, first string open. So from the top, uh, the thing that stands out to me about this first chord and the second chord are these double pumps on the open G and the, the uh, fretted A. So this kind of thing. So without all the slapping and flicking, it's kind of like that kind of rhythm. But it's made more subtle by the fact that uh, the first one is a flick. So transitioning into that uh, F sharp root. This time we're kind of double pumping the A note. That's the second fret of the third string. And then transition, transitioning into an A. And that's the first of eight licks that are featured in the song. There's like eight of them, they're all slightly different, and I'll save those to the end, we'll go over each one in gory detail. But the first one is this, so starting on that A. back to the D sus with the G root. A into lick two. Uh, let's get back to the licks here. Um, each of the licks are two measures long. There's two licks in each chorus, four choruses, eight licks. So they he gets into them in one or in one of two different ways with that first lick measure. So let me just uh, play the difference between the two. This is the way he gets into lick one. And then the way he gets into lick two is like this. It's like a hurry up lick. He gets into the descending portion of the lick faster. He just, yeah, gets into it a bit faster. So lick two in its entirety slow is like this. So the tab can show you all the intricacies there one more time. And then we go back to that G root on the D sus, that A sharp seventh thing, the, uh, B minor seventh, and then this E seventh with a different picking variation. Very nice. And again, this is one of those things where he doesn't go up high, he kind of stays, he doesn't go past the second string for this. do this uh, A chord, starting with our thumb on the fifth, smack, thump, and then uh, we kind of throw our second finger on the second string, third fret, junk, and then we kind of strum that whole thing from the fifth string on down, getting that open first string. So that's the first generic chorus, more or less, with the two licks, licks one and two. Variations on this are uh, in future choruses when he's on that E7 that he changes it up a bit and he goes on he, he goes down to the uh, the first string and this kind of thing. So really slow that's There's other variations where he just continues playing without that pause in the song, and I'll get into that a bit later. One last thing, uh, when he is entering choruses later in the song, he sometimes does this kind of thing. Uh, so we're on that D sus, coming out of the verse. He does this kind of pull off or slidey thing. that way. Very subtle, but it's there twice. So instead of this, that's how he injures the first couple choruses. So later on, probably choruses uh, three and four, he's doing this kind of thing. So, And then interning into it.
And you can fret that a couple different ways, like we showed uh, off the top when that augmented verse. I tend to fret that D like this, <laughs> with these two middle fingers. But then that doesn't leave you open to do that pull off. So I do a slide. But if I remember and I kind of fret it the way you would fret a normal D, I just leave it off. And that finger is there to do this. So you can kind of fret the uh, unslit part, or the unhammer-on part with the first two fingers. Use the third finger as your hammer-on. And that's quite enough to put the chorus. In the middle of the song, after the second chorus, instead of doing this bit, where he pauses for a beat and then the band kicks in after, he plays it a bit differently to keep it going. He does this. Slow, it's like this. So the big difference there is we're hitting that open first string rather quickly near the end of that phrase. So into this arpeggiated A fretting on the uh, third fret of the second <laughs> string to get that D and then we go to this G and we kind of play it with the open second string and hammer onto that on the third fret and it sounds like this and then we go back to that uh, A with the uh, third fret at the second string, and then a pure A, and then a D, sus but hammered on to make it a full D. So. And then we go back into the chorus. And another collection of licks. And the ending's like this. to that uh, uh, chorus 2 ending in a way we have this so starting on the G we have this into this that A thing into a D sus our G our F sharp with our D sus a D that goes a little run up on the high E, high e string and then ending up with a, a D. So one more time, slow from the from the top, the very ending. Actually, on the uh, flick, really hit those notes, they stand out before ending with the final D. That's the end of the song, but we're not done. We're going to cover those um, six remaining licks we haven't seen. Okay, this is lick three. That occurs on the second chorus. This is lick four, found in the second chorus. This is a fun one. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Not exactly like that. Lick six. Lick eight, the weirdest lick. So that one's like uh, on the A. You kind of hammer on with the uh, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and the third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string to get this thing going. So you do the lick the same way you do the intro to this, the other ones. So after that it's... So you see that every... Every down strum is a big slap thunk as well. And I go up stroke on the first note and the end and then flick and then upstroke on the very last one so slow again and that's the uh, last lick thank you very much hope you enjoyed it this song was uh, more complicated than I thought <laughs> like uh, all of his songs god damn it